Hi all, welcome back to Dr. Corder's YouTube channel. So today I am here with a video from CPT topic from the chapter Digestive System. So the topic is colonoscopy decision tree. Colonoscopy decision tree is an important topic from this digestive system chapter. Questions are coming repeatedly for CPZ exam. So we will see what is colonoscopy decision tree. So before explaining the decision tree, the flow chart, let me explain anatomy. First one is about large intestine. So here I have given picture of large intestine. Large, large intestine is mainly divided into three parts, cecum, colon and rectum. Okay, so here the colon is again divided into four parts. Okay, so first one is the cecum. You can see in the figure where is cecum located. Cecum is located next to appendix. Appendix is at one end of uh, end and after that you can see uh, cecum. Okay, then after cecum, that major portion of the large intestine is colon. Okay, this colon can be divided into three or four parts. First part is ascending colon, which you can see there, the up upper portion. Okay, that straight portion, that is ascending colon. Then the transverse portion is called the transverse colon. Then the descending part is called the descending colon. Okay, then after descending colon, you can see again one small portion that is the sigmoid colon. Okay, then the sigmoid colon ends to the next part of large intestine which is the rectum and rectum ends to the anus. What is anus? Anus is the external opening. Okay, then I have mentioned there about two flexures. Splenic flexure and hepatic flexure. You can see in the figure, splenic flexure, it is that bending or curvature or separation which comes between the descending colon and transverse colon. You can look at the figure and the hepatic flexure, it is the separation between transverse colon and ascending colon. Okay, so this structure should, uh, you have to be thorough with this structure. So large intestine, it is broadly divided into cecum, colon, rectum. Then the colon again have four, four parts, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon. Then about two flexures, splenic flexure and hepatic flexure. So what is colonoscopy? It is the examination of entire colon from rectum to cecum and may include examination of terminal ileum or small intestine proximal to an anastomosis. So colonoscopy is the uh, one, one of a type of endoscopy procedure. So what is endoscopy? Endoscopy means a tube-like structure called endoscope is passed into an organ okay this endoscope will be having a camera and a light at one end which helps to visualize inside an organ okay and this endoscopy procedure helps in diagnostic uh, diagnosis and the treatment okay what is diagnostic and the, this therapeutic procedure and all i will discuss in the coming slides okay so colonoscopy is one of the endoscopy procedure you might have studied about many endoscopy procedure in digestive system itself you have already uh, we have many other endoscopy procedures like esophagoscopy esophagogastroscopy uh, esophagogastroduodenoscopy then in musculoskeletal system you have uh, known about arthroscopy like that okay so colonoscopy is one such procedure where the endoscope or the colonoscope is inserted from colon uh, sorry from rectum to cecum okay so from rectum to the entire colon to cecum for what in order to include examination okay in order to examine the entire large intestine that is colonoscopy procedure then one more procedure will come across while taking code is sigmoidoscopy. So I have already said about colonoscopy. Colonoscopy means examination of the entire large intestine, cecum, colon, rectum, everything. Okay. Sigmoidoscopy it is the examination of entire rectum, sigmoid colon and may include examination of portion of descending colon. From the figure you can understand clearly. Here colonoscope is inserted through anus to the rectum. To the sigmoid colon and then a portion of descending colon only up to that okay it will not extend beyond that in that case it is called sigmoidoscopy 
Now this is the colonoscopy decision tree. So whenever you get a question from colonoscopy decision tree, the first point that you have to identify is read the question properly and then you have to decide if it is a diagnostic procedure or it is a therapeutic procedure. So what is the difference between this diagnostic procedure and therapeutic procedure? Diagnostic procedure means it is an examination procedure or an investigation procedure. Okay, inserting a colonoscope and doing diagnostic procedure means examining the large intestine for any abnormalities like tumor or a polyp or a presence of foreign body. Okay, like that examination process is called diagnostic procedure. Okay, so if the physician insert colonoscope and if he examines the large intestine means the procedure done is diagnostic procedure. Okay, now what is therapeutic procedure? Therapeutic procedure means treatment purpose. Okay, like after inserting a colonoscope, if the physician done removal of a tumor or removal of polyp or ablation of tumor or a biopsy or removal of foreign body, then that is a procedure, that is a treatment procedure. In that case, you have to take code from this therapeutic section. Okay, so the first point to note when you get a question from colonoscopy is identify the procedure is diagnostic or therapeutic. Okay, so in this flow chart, you can see if it is diagnostic means there is a section and if it is therapeutic means there is another section. So we will see one by one individually. First one, let's see diagnostic section. So if it is a diagnostic procedure, the next point that you have to identify is, you have to identify up to what extent the colonoscope have reached. That is if it have reached uh, up to splenic flexure or if it passed beyond splenic flexure up to cecum or it extend up to cecum. That you have to see. Okay, so in this flowchart you can see the first one is does not reach splenic flexure. That is you have inserted the colonoscope, the physician have inserted this uh, colonoscope, but it is not extend up to splenic flexure. We have already uh, explained about what is splenic flexure, it is that separation between transverse colon and descending colon. For your reference, I have given the picture again here. Okay, so in that case, what code you have to take is, you can see there, the code for flexible sigmoidoscopy 45330. Okay, so if the colonoscope doesn't reach fl splenic flexure means you have to take, if it is a diagnostic case, you have to take the code of flexible sigmoidoscopy 45330. Okay, then the second case is beyond splenic flexure but not to cecum. That is the colonoscope have passed splenic flexure and but it does not reach the cecum. In that case, you have to give the code. Code for colonoscopy 45378 with the modifier 53. What is modifier 53? Modifier 53 is the modifier for discontinued procedure. Okay. Then the next case is if the colonoscope extend up to cecum. Up to cecum means it is a complete colonoscopy procedure. Then you have to give the code for diagnostic colonoscopy 45378 without any modifier. Okay. So this is the case for diagnostic colonoscopy. Then the next one is therapeutic colonoscopy. That is, patient uh, physician have inserted colonoscope and if he have performed some treatment means how you have to. In that case also you have to identify the extent up to which the colonoscope have passed. If the colonoscope does not reach up to splenic flexure means you have to take the code flexible sigmoidoscopy. There a code range have been given 45331 to 45347. So which code you have to pick from that? That depends on what treatment have been, what procedure have been uh, performed there. Okay, for example, if after passing uh, colonoscope, if the physician have done biopsy means we can give the code 45331. If the physician have performed removal of foreign body means the code is 45332. So that code depends on what procedure is performed. Okay, now the second one is beyond the splenic flexure but not to cecum. Colonoscope have 
uh, extended beyond splenic flexure, but it does not reach to cecum means you have to give the colonoscopy see these codes 45379 to 45398 one from that with the modifier 52 modifier 52 indicates a reduced procedural service okay so which code from 45379 to 45398 we have to take again depends on what procedure or what uh, treatment have been taken there okay um, if the procedure is removal of foreign body means the code will be 45379 with the modifier 52 if the procedure is biopsy means the code will be 45380 with the modifier 52 like that then the last case the colonoscope extend up to cecum then you have to give the colonoscopy code what treatment is done according to that the code range from 45379 to 45398 with the no modifier no modifier is needed because the complete procedure is done there now we will see one example after informed consent was obtained, the patient was placed in the left, left lateral decubitus position and sedated. Olympus video colonoscope was inserted through the anus and was advanced in retrograde fashion through sigmoid colon, descending colon and to splenic flexure. There was large amount of stool at the flexure which appeared to be impacted, the physician decided not to advance to cecum due to impaction and the scope was pulled back into descending colon and then slowly withdrawn. Mucosa was examined in detail along the way and was entirely normal. Upon reaching the rectum, retroflex examination of rectum was normal. Scope was then straightened out, air removed and the scope withdrawn. The patient tolerated the procedure well. So this is a question from colonoscopy. If you get a question from colonoscopy, the first thing that you have to identify is identify if the procedure is a diagnostic procedure or a therapeutic procedure. Okay, so I have highlighted such sentences. Uh, it comes almost in the sixth sentence onwards, sixth line onwards. The mucosa was examined in detail along the way and was entirely normal. Upon reaching the rectum, retroflex examination of rectum was normal. So it was just an examination procedure where everything appeared to be normal. Okay, which means it is a diagnostic procedure. So, you in the from the colonoscopy decision tree, you you should see only at that section diagnostic procedure. Then the next thing that you have to notice, identify the extent to which the colonoscope have passed. Okay, so from the second line itself, you can read colonoscope was inserted through anus and was advanced in retrograde fashion through sigmoid colon, descending colon, and to splenic flexure. So it have already reached splenic flexure. Then uh, then the from next line I have given the physician decided not to advance to cecum due to impaction. So it does not reach the cecum but it have passed splenic flexure. Okay, so in that case you have to take the colonoscopy code, the diagnostic colonoscopy code 45378 with the modifier 53 to indicate that it is a discontinued procedure and it does not reach to cecum. In that way you have to take code for colonoscopy from colonoscopy decision tree. So, hope this portion is clear for everyone. Whenever you get a question from colonoscopy means you have to look for two things. The first one is uh, identify if it is a diagnostic or therapeutic procedure. Diagnostic means it is an examination procedure. Therapeutic means if any treatment have done after inserting colonoscope then it comes under therapeutic section. Okay, then the next point is you have to identify the extent up to which the colonoscope have passed. If it does not reach the uh, splenic flexure means you have to give the flexible sigmoidoscopy code. If it passed beyond the splenic flexure means you have to give that colonoscopy code with modifier 53 or 52. If it reaches the cecum means you have to give the colonoscopy and that code. Thank you.